All right, welcome back. Thanks for watching. Uh, hit that subscribe button, please. And this time what I'm doing is I am machining a piece of vintage, rustic, um, reclaimed wood for a customer, but it's cupped. And it's not badly cupped, but there it is cupping. So what I do is I just set my home position to the highest point of where the wood is cupping or of where it's cupped. And as you can see, I'm not machining the entirety of the of the carving all at once I'm doing it in a pass so I'll let this whole thing go through and then I'll lower it by whatever my plunge depth is so for this particular drill bit the mill bit I had a uh, eighth inch and I have my plunge depth at 0 0.05 so after this finishes the first pass I knock it down 0 0.05 reset my home position and then I go again and then again going down by 0 0.05 each pass until the entirety of the lettering is where I want it to be. And then I go ahead and I run a V-bit over it and clean up the edges and make it look nice. She doesn't want to paint it or anything, but I think it looks great just like it is. Um, well, thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, put them in the comment and I'll do my best to answer if I can. And uh, I'll be back at the end. Okie dokie, that's how I machine wood that's not uh, level across the top, whether it's cupping or twisting or warping or whatever it is. That's how I have to do it. If anybody has a better way, post it in the comments down below. Um, but that's all I figured out so far, and it does me perfectly good. Or it does me well, I guess. Whatever. You know what I'm trying to say, but anyways, well, I hope you guys have a Merry Christmas. And uh, there'll be another couple videos coming out before Christmas, but... Anyways, it's, it's Christmas, so get into the spirit. And uh, thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button, and until the next video, I'm out.